some malls are like showrooms for Amerlux. I actually drive my kids crazy because as we walk past the store, as they're looking at the merchandising, I'm looking up at the lighting. Look at the great lighting in here. The changes in the lighting industry have been numerous. At one time, the lighting industry was a metal bending business. It is now a high-tech business, totally different from what the lighting industry was even five years ago. One of the greatest challenges right now is determining who is who in the lighting industry? Who do I work with? I remember when I was interviewing with Amerlux. It was late at night and they were giving me a little tour around the plant and I meet the VP of production and I had to ask, why are you in a painting outfit at eight o'clock at night? And the answer was simple. He said, I promised the customer this product would be out the door tomorrow and I'm not breaking my promise. That is the exact reason why someone should come to us because nobody is going to care like we do. Amerlux started out in 1984, a startup company, looked for a niche in the lighting business and found that niche in the supermarket industry. Now we've been able to move from just supermarket and specialty retail into the commercial market. So now we can meet just about any type of application, interior and exterior. We are still small enough to take each project personally and yet big enough where we have the financial wherewithal to compete with anyone and beat everybody to market. As a matter of fact, I think one of our significant competitive edges is our speed to market. It's not the big that eat the small, it's the fast that eat the slow. As an independent lighting company, you know, we're not a conglomerate. We don't sell any other thing but lighting and ourselves. It is a relationship business. We do the same thing with our, our own employees. This is not a company that you come and you go to work and you put your time in and at five o'clock you race to your car. We just don't work that way. We want a satisfied customer at the end of the day, and we try and create a work atmosphere and a culture that continues to feed into that each and every day. And I think that really is a, a good summation of the company and the way that it feels. We take care of our customers.